Hiya, so hopefully this is the last video uh, for the vectors. It's the third lesson of the vectors, but the last one. So we're doing 3D stuff now. So it says the position vectors of P and Q are there. So I know that O to P is 2, 4, 7. And I know that O to Q is minus 6, 2, minus 3. And I want the position vector, M, which is the midpoint of P to Q. So if you imagine in 3D, I'm not going to draw it in 3D. So there's my origin. So P is here. Q is there. So I've got a vector from O to P. And I've got a vector from O to Q. Now I want the midpoint of P to Q. So if you imagine the vector there, I want that part there, that's M. It's not very midpointish, is it? But that's where it is. Right then. So how do I get from P to M? Hmm. So what I need to do from the origin, I need to go from the origin to P. So I'm going to go from the origin to P. So that takes me out to the point. And that bit people forget. People always forget this little bit. I'll do halfway, and then what I want to do is a half of, so I've gone from O to P, I'm going from a half of P to Q there. So people kind of forget this bit. People forget this part. They're okay doing the half P to Q. Well, that's anywhere in 3D space. You've got to like reference it back to the origin by leaping from the origin to the start. So that's what that O to P does. It leaps you from the origin through to P, where you're starting from. Right then, so O to P. So O to P we know is 2, 4, 7. And it's a half of P to Q. So if you remember, for P to Q, P to Q is the second letter minus the first letter. So Q, O to Q is minus 6, 2, minus 3. Oof, we have another bracket on there. Minus O to P, which is 2, 4, 7. There. So let's have a look. What have we got then? So I've got 2, 4, 7. I've got a half of. So minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 3 minus 7 is minus 10. I'm doing a half of that though. So I've got 2, 4, 7 plus. A half of, so minus 4, minus 1, minus 5. So that's going to give me, I'll stick it here at the bottom, uh, minus 2, 3, 2. Check that with a completed pack. Yeah, there we go. So that's the position vector to get from O to M. From the origin to M. There. Right, let's have a look at the next bit then. So B says, find the position vector of M on PQ so that the ratio uh, P to N is 1 to 3. So I'm looking at going a quarter of the way along. If I split it up as a ratio thing. So there's N there. So I've got one bit here, three bits there. So it's a quarter of the way along. So following the same maths then, B, O to N, should really put O N, shouldn't I really? And O N is equal to, so I start off at the origin and I go to P, so I'm like tethering it to the origin as it was, and then it's a quarter of the way from P to Q. There. Now I know that P to Q is the 8 minus 2 minus 10. Right, so O N, oops, change colour by mistake is O to P, which is 2, 4, 7, plus a quarter of P to Q. So that bit there was P to Q, because I did Q minus P. So that's going to be minus 8, minus 2, minus 10. Away. So what have we got then? So I've got 2 plus a quarter times minus 8. So that's 2 minus 2 is 0. 
I've got 4 plus a quarter times minus 2. So that's going to be 3 and a half, isn't it? It's 4 minus a half, so that's 7 over 2. And then I've got 7 plus a quarter of minus 10. So minus 10 over 4 minus 5 over 2 minus 2 and a half. 7 minus 3 and a half is 4 and a half. So that's going to be 9 over 2. There, don't follow that. Whoosh, let's have another look at this one then. So it says, for the points A, B, C, calculate the angle from B to A to C. Right. So I know that O to A is 3 minus 2, 1. I know that O to B is minus 1, 1 minus 3. I know that O to C is 2 minus 5, 3. Now, I can actually cheat. We used to do stuff with vectors. Uh, with angles, but we don't do it anymore. What I'm going to use is the cosine rule. So what I want to do is find each length. So that vector there is C to A. That vector there uh, is C to B. That vector there is A to B. And I'm not bothered about the direction. Because I want its length. Right, so I'm just going to work out the vectors for, for each of those. So I'm going to do C to A. So I know that's going to be A takes C. So 3 minus 2, 1. Minus, uh, let's see, 2 minus 5, 3. So I know that C to A is going to be 1, 3, minus 2. And you could have the signs reversed. But now what I want is its length. So the length of it, I'm just going to do it here at the side. The length of C to A will be Pythagoras of 1 squared, 3 squared, minus 2 squared. So that's 10, 14, root 14. There. Right, what I'm going to do is, because I'm running out of time on the bit, I'm just going to pause it, you work out each of the other two sides and see if it matches what I do in there. Right, so hopefully you got those three lengths the same. So C to A is root 14. C to B is 9. And A to B is root 41. So I'm going to use the cosine rule. Remember with the cosine rule, the side opposite the angle you're interested in. So I'm interested in the angle A, so that's the, the 9, and that goes on its own. So I've got 9 squared is root 14 squared plus root 41 squared minus 2 times root 14 times root 41 cos theta. If I do the rearrange, I've got 14 plus 41 minus 81 all over 2 times root 14 times root 41. So I took all that over and then divided 3 and I took the, the 81 over. So that's cos theta. Now if this works out right, according to the, um, the pack, it's 123 degrees. So my angle, I've switched to theta here, and really, I should have used an A, shouldn't I, because it was the angle A. There, so my angle A is 1, 2, 3 degrees. There's another example, so unfortunately we've got another one.